Hey fam, so you're looking at your stove top right now and you're wondering how on earth am I gonna get this clean? So don't worry, cause I got you and you've got these three ingredients right in your kitchen. You wanna see how I get this to that? Keep on watching. All right fam, so these are the very simple three ingredients that you're going to be needing for this stove top cleaning. So you will need baking soda or bicarbonate of soda, which you already have in your kitchen, I suppose and you also need some white vinegar any white vinegar will do and you also need some dish soap everyone has dish soap in the kitchen so basically these three ingredients are in your kitchen and we are going to mix all three together into a paste form and then just smear it onto the stove top leave it on for some time so the longer you leave it the easier it's going to be for you to clean it off so let's get started with the mixing because you need a mixing bowl and something to stir. Okay, a spoonful. Then I'll leave it at that. So you're going to adjust the quantity as much or as less as you want, depending on how dirty your stovetop is or how big your stovetop is. So this is about a spoonful and I'm going to add in the liquid soap, also about two to three tablespoons of dish soap and a vinegar. I'm just going to be eyeballing it, but it's going to be about two tablespoons. You can add as you go. So first, let's mix. Yo, you can see the chemical reaction right there. <laughs> wow. So we have two natural ingredients, the apple cider vinegar and also the baking soda. So you want to have a consistency that looks like so. It's kind of creamy. It looks like food but it's not okay. I do have a video up already on how to clean your glass stove top. And that video is one of my videos that went viral and it's doing really well. And I use a Ceran cleaning milk in that video. And someone drew my attention or suggested I should do another one in case someone doesn't have the Ceran milk. So this is why I came up with this ones because I believe everyone has those three ingredients in their kitchen. So. This is the consistency that you should be going for, all right? Not too runny and not too thick. Just like so, so much more like a lotion consistency, a thick lotion consistency. So now we're gonna go ahead to the cooktop and just smear it on it and let it rest. You guys, have you seen the bones? You can see that this, this is bones, like it's all blurry and creamy. It, this is all bonds that you're seeing right here. This is all bonds. So, and these can be really, really stubborn to take off. But with this mixture, trust me, guys, you, it's going to work like magic. Just like that. In no time. And the rest of it, I was making some pancake and things got splashed a little bit all over the place. So, yeah. So, this is the most messiest one. So I'm going to start off by smearing from here and work my way through the four burners. So I'm also going to be using a saran um, sponge. I just dump it a little bit with some water and I'm going to use that to smear all over the surface. So you could just go to any store and get you some saran um, and get some saran sponge. So basically just smear it like so. Make sure it's really covering the affected areas, most especially, just like that. You basically paint it. <laughs> it looks so good, it's so satisfying. This is an induction um, cooktop, so I'm not going to be um, smearing on the the touch pad right here because it's so sensitive that 
whatever touches it is going to be alarming the whole time like a security alarm so i'm just gonna leave out that box i'm not gonna do anything to this area right here till the end so All covered up with a mixture so I'm just gonna let this be for about half an hour you can let it be as long as you want you can even do this overnight I think doing this overnight would be a great option because it's going to have more time to walk through and just break down all the dead and the gunk and all that so if you like I'll also suggest that you do this at night so after everything you've done you're done with your daily activities and all that before you go to bed just do the solution and smear it all over like so and just go to sleep Next morning you wake up, all you do is wipe it off and everything should come out right off. So yeah, that would be a great way to do this as well. But for, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it for half an hour, okay? 30 minutes. So see you right there. All right, fam. So we are back after half an hour. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and scrub a little bit and that should come right off. So just give it some easy scrub trust me you don't even need a lot of effort because this mixture has literally done all the job for you just a little bit of scrubbing it's so satisfying guys watching this <laughs> So now the next thing you want to do is get you a damp plug. So I am going to be using my microfiber and fold it into four halves like that and watch the magic. guys let me bring this a bit closer so you can see like the light just look at how everything just comes off so easily remember how this place was so burnt and blurry and all that it comes off easily okay so i'm gonna rinse this and wipe again So this side here was left behind so i'm just gonna go ahead and use the sponge that has more texture so it's off now i am going to go ahead for the second time and wipe off and i'm gonna wipe it one more time So now I'm going to use um, a kitchen paper and just polish. First I'm going to go underneath and get out all the residue that slide underneath. You just go underneath to get all those residues out. polish until it shines until you can see your reflection through the glass that's how you know you have done a good job okay wow just look at that 
look at that so there you have it guys just three ingredients right in your kitchen and your cooktop is going to be good as new sparkling clean okay so that's it all right fam so i hope this was helpful to you and you also enjoyed watching this if that's the case don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video it might help someone out so i will see you in my next video thank you for watching and bye bye